Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick or a yeah, this, is, this is a pretty historic site for Western filming. If you take a look in the back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We better bring old Kim on. Yes, because we do have news and comments on the headlines after today. The president submits his budgets and his DOA. Well, because, I mean, they, they said, I, I listened to some of the people that basically lost their jobs in Congress because of him saying, they know they've accused us of not being able to add and subtract, but this budget, he's raising two trillion in new taxes, spending four trillion dollars, and he's got a deficit of one point nine trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, "You can't have a deficit if you're raising new taxes, which means he's spending more money than he's telling people on this budget that's being spent." Which well, is why he's dead on arrival. Yeah, he's uh, he increased government spending. Well, he had to make up for what the Republicans cost, so he added that 5% plus 20% more to increase the new budget over what he knew was not going to happen. You know what I mean, oh. I mean, I listened to the guy. One of the people said, "I'm an a I was a math teacher before I become a before I become a mayor, and then and and then become a, a congressman." He said. I have never seen mathematics like the President of the United States uses. It's, it said it's beyond smoke and mirror to figure out how he comes up with the figures he does. And when it comes to gun to gun control, it's all about the Republicans. Well, I am. The Republicans won't agree to the background checks the Democrats are demanding. They won't agree to this. They won't agree to that. The problem is, is that the Democrats will not agree to anything that we resembles sensibility, okay? They brought Gabby Gifford in to try to make the Republicans feel bad, and then they pointed out the fact to her husband, who was somewhat pissed about it, would the legislation that you are supporting have stopped your wife being shot? Well, that's not the point we're trying. They simply asked him, would it have stopped your wife being shot? And he said, no. And then they said, uh, they brought the people from, so the really left-wing people from Newton, um, Connecticut in, and the same thing. Would the legislation that Connecticut has passed that you want to see done in the Congress of the United States have stopped the, the kid from killing people in the school? And they wouldn't respond to that. And finally, one of them said, no, it would not have stopped it. But we have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, to start somewhere is if you ban, okay, it, it, one of them said simply, if you ban the sale of all of these assault weapons, will it have stopped the Newton killings? And the simple answer is no, because the Democrats refuse. Said they, they're going ballistic if you include people with mental illness. Uh huh. And who is it that is doing all of the killings? Yeah. The people that should not have guns, which are the mentally ill. But they can. Um, you cannot use mental illness as a reason for not giving a person a gun a permit to buy a gun. Which That's means it the be. very people that they say are causing all the problems or would be the only ones allowed to buy a gun with no background checks on them. And Sears Holdings establishes new business unit focused on entertainment-driven fashion brands. Oh, well, I mean, okay, they need to concentrate on, on what made the business what it is instead of trying to, well, we've got to do something to get people into our stores that don't watch television. Mm. I mean, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to create a Kim Kardashian line. We're going to create a such and such line and such and such line. Well, those people have no following. Mm. And new LL Cool J song featuring Brad Paisley, Live For You, released from LL, LL Cool J's upcoming album, Authentic. I know. It just um, the, the People are getting pissed off because they took, uh, they, they took a piece of music out of context and made it look like they were, uh, like it was racist when it was part of it, when it was basically a back and forth about racism, about how you can be a racist and not mean to be a racist. And uh, when you take something out of context, you only take one side. First of all, it's done deliberately. And when you delete the entire video from the way it was done originally from YouTube, it makes it look like they're trying to hide the fact that Brad Paisley was a racist and that the company turned a racist video out at LL Cool J if Hart was the only one that was left standing. And AT&T recognized for cybersecurity leadership by the National Association of Countries, of Counties. Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust them any further than I trust Monty Bubbles. Why? <laughs> because they're, okay, you're going to trust the phone company for anything? 
What? They, okay, they're the most unreliable people on the face of this planet. They monitor your phone calls. They charge you things that you, you shouldn't be charged for. And they give you no security for e your, your email, your telephone. Nothing do they provide you security for, but they charge you for it. And Bloomberg BNA publishes responding to corporate criminal investigations. I know. Bloomberg is basically, uh, okay, let's try, well, we're going to ban all of this from all of this New York, except for his places. Mm -hmm. And it makes it sound like it was a business decision from a Jewish businessman to make certain that his businesses were protected while the people that were opposing him didn't have their business protected. Mm-hmm. And first North American exhibition to look at the history of sneaker culture. That one I wonder. That's, uh, you need an exhibition for that. There is a sneaker culture. It's, you wear sneakers around. Okay, oh. You know why? Okay, basically you play basketball, you play tennis, you walk in them, you run them. That's why you have sneakers, because they're athletic shoes, folks. Well, okay, so if that one, how about this one? A new English school for short attention spans and busy lives. That one, I, 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 I you know, <laughs> the reason why people have, okay, I can guarantee you that when I was in school, I had a very short attention span. I was trying to always figure, you know, I'm watching the clock to see, what is this? going to be over. Mm -hmm. That's every kid that ever went to school. And they call that a short attention span. Short attention span. I think that's normal. Olympia Beer offers $1 million to anyone who finds irrefutable evidence of Bigfoot. Well, they would never accept irrefutable evidence if they had irrefutable evidence. I mean, first of all, the assumption is, is that there's probably something like a grizzly bear or a huge monkey that's been, you know, uh, remember, we had the monkeys actually lived in this part of the universe at one time, and it's very simple since they climbed trees that they could escape out of sight. Uh, and remember, they have gorillas in, in the Himalayas, Himalayan monkeys. They also um, have like, grizzly bears that walk on hind legs all the time. So, And Sundance Channel announces Rectify Network's first wholly owned original scripted series to debut with two episodes. I, I don't understand. Everybody... I thought going, they've already had their own yeah, original well, they series. Do. They have these stupid, you know, like uh, pale white guys or something, but they call comedy. But the problem comes is every single channel that basically was a niche channel was trying to get out of their niche and join with the other people. The TV Land, uh, Sundance, the independent channels, all of them are going to scripted entertainment, new stuff instead of doing what brought their viewers in because we're having a hard time keeping those people. They'll notice that the hard time keeping those people coincides with the changing of all their schedules. Hmm. And Billy Ray Cyrus's latest CD available tomorrow at Buffett's Inc. Restaurants proceeds to benefit military families. Well, that's a good way to get the prom free promotion to sell his album. I know. I think that's a really good way. And um, Latino SEO optimizing content for the Hispanic market takes center stage at Hispanicize 2013. Oh, I know. I, we were, I have been this, folks. Okay, for all of you people out there that think I'm right-wing conservative, I'm on the DNC's press list, and I am on the La Raza press list, and they don't treat me like the Republicans do, which basically don't like me. Now, I, you know, Republicans, if you tell the truth, you're in trouble with the, with anybody anymore. But and office pros pick Streep as best of bad bosses. Yeah, that's not Meryl Streep, is it? No, that's the name of the company. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's the name of the company, yeah. <laughs> and Cold Stone Creamery conditions, oh, continues expanding footprint in Asia. Oh, the cold cream is sort of vanishing. Or Cold Stone? Cold Stone is sort of vanishing all over the face. Every Cold Stone that we knew of is gone in, in, in Los, southern Los Angeles where we live. So. I don't know. It's like um, film independent announces North American premiere of Pedro Almodal. Alma Dover's I'm So Excited from Sony Pictures Classics for opening night. Oh, yeah. At that's, the 2013 LA Film Festival. Yeah, that's a big deal because it's generally a very important film that opens that opening night of that film festival. So, I mean, uh, a lot for of. For Crosby, Oscar Stills, and Nash? Wow. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay. Often you go on location when you don't have enough time to do the product where you need to do it. <laughs>